Hello again, everyone. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're all well. Okay, so um, into episode four now of uh, Seven Days to Die. Oh, we'll have that. So as you can see, um, I'm glad that I did that. We've got some green dye here. So what we'll do, we'll take that and then we'll quickly um, go on here, go to modify. We'll take the dye out, which you do over here. I did it wrong to start with. So we'll put the dye in our inventory and then we'll sell them straight back to wrecked so it's only eight um dollars but that's all right okay and then um so we're very overweight at the moment oh you want a guarantee huh well maybe you should try shamway <laughs> okay have a good one mate so what we're going to do now is um i haven't accepted another job from him just yet what we're going to do is we're going to go and um clear out a building and yeah set up our own little base so obviously i could build from scratch um but i'm not going to do that because uh yeah obviously we've got all these buildings around that we could be um yeah moving into so taking over a big school like this um not worth it at the moment because there's only me and i don't need much space um so if that wolf wasn't in there i'd probably take over that place but i know that there's a wolf in there from a previous episode so we'll ignore that and um yeah we'll just uh wander up this way a little bit maybe that barn it's nice to um nice to have a bit of room so that would be a good size though i've got to admit and it's got barbed wire up as well, so we wouldn't need to do that much more to um, fortify it. Um, do you know what? Let's go and have another quick look. And just see whether that wolf ever got out. So we can have a little peep in the window. Yeah, it's still there, look. The trouble is our bows won't cause that much damage. So what I should do really is scrap that one. Pop that back down there. And then if I make... Oh. Easy. So what I could do is shoot it in the bum. And then get ready to jump all the way up to the top. Right, so now it's after us, but we got a little bit of damage into it. Right. <laughs> no. Right, so let's jump up. So he knows we're here now, so I might as well just get up onto the roof and wait for him to come out. So yeah, I'm not going to pretend to be a pro on this, but this would be quite a good area because we can um, reinforce some of them fences. We've got the barbed wire as, as well, which will slow them down. And um, yeah, we've got lots of loot over there as well. So we'll let him smash through the door. Let's go and have a quick look. And it has got a kind of tumble effect. So if um, if these blocks beneath us get destroyed, it will mean that all of this will fall down. So it will destroy the little building that we've got straight on the nose. Sorry, mate. And um, yeah, it will fall down. Right, he's almost out now. Yeah, so as you can see, this is why I didn't try to um, get him before. Because not only am I terrible, but the arrows aren't doing that much in the way of damage. Right, there we go. So I know that's quite cruel, but um, that's him down now. So obviously if it was real life, I'd try and, uh, try and make it a little bit... Um, 
yeah, quicker for him. But it's just a game. Right, so. We'll get the meat off of him. And then at least it's not wasted. And then once I've done this, we'll have some more XP. And I'll also be able to um, take out some of this wood that's inside the building. Reinforce it a little bit. And then put some storage down as well. Because we're very overweight at the moment. Which slows our character down. And um, yeah, it does all sorts. So let's pick these arrows up. Um, we'll have a quick look in the backpack as well. Right, so not much use. But that's alright. Anything's better than nothing. That can sell for a bit. Shotgun cartridges as well. Okay. So is this a door here? No, it's not. Right, so, we'll reinforce this door, and I think what I'll probably do <laughs> is uh, have another door to get out of, of as well, so we'll reinforce that, and I'm just going to use the resources that we've got. Sorry, it's quite dark. I'll also do the walls as well, but... We've got someone creeping around. So let's have a quick walk around the corner. Right, it's probably him over there. So he's alright. We can leave him. We've also got um, some food source here as well, which is good. Right, so let's get a door in here. So you can um, search for it here, but it's going to be quite... Um, Easy to find. So, uh, there we go. Secure wood door. Pop that down into the inventory. Press in shift and click in. And we'll just pop that there. Reinforce it. As much as we can. We need to do the roof as well. It sounds a bit close. Right, it's there, if you saw it. So let's have a quick look through this window. There he is. So, yeah, that's man down because of the barbed wire. Um, let's have a quick look out here. Oh, sorry everyone. Right. Yeah, so because of the barbed wire, that did actually kill him. So that's, um, yeah, it, it's a good place to have a base. Right. Okay, so we've got the odd bit of um, rubbish around here. We'll just get rid of that and that as well. Um, so where it's this empty pile of rubbish, that means you've already searched it. So perfect. We'll close this and that gate I'd already shut. So let's go in now. Take some of this um, internal out in crouch so that we don't attract attention. So this is giving us a little bit of wood and a little bit of XP as well. Right, we'll close the door now. I probably will frame this um, so that, yeah, people can't see in. And uh, we'll probably have a way up to the roof so that we've got some high ground. Right, so storage-wise, we'll put the storage here for now. How many nails have I got? 16. Um, so we'll put this storage box down. So that needs 10 nails, 12 wood. So this is quite large storage. And while that's crafting, I'm also going to have another secure chest just above the door. So this is just how I do things. Okay, so that one can go in the corner here. And if I move some stuff, I oh know because of the shape of it, I can't quite put it there. But this will do for now. I can um, rearrange this later. If you're playing multiplayer, um, when you put a storage thing down, it always comes locked. So if you hold E, um, then you can put it to unlock so that everyone can open it. 
So let's get rid of this corpse. And there's another... Oh, there was another one here as well. Perfect. And then we'll load the stuff in here that I'm not going to need just yet. So we'll put that in there. Um, we'll put some food in there as well. Uh, one bandage. So we're not going to need the dye for a while. Or the leather. That. Or the repair kits. Um, right, that will do for now. Uh, we'll also put the glue in there, sorry. And those. And then we'll reshuffle that. The cloth. The torch. Yeah, I think that will do us. Right, and then this second storage box. What I like to do when I'm playing this is um, near the door, I like to have a little bit of storage for the stuff that I'm going to be selling to the trader. So... I like to um, make my base near the trader because um, you spend so much time going back and forth. So I like to have a little box that I know I can put the stuff in that I'm going to sell him or her. And then, yeah, it just keeps it away from my main storage. Later on in the game, when I've got lots of supplies, um, obviously I'd have a much bigger base and everything would be laid out. So I'd have um, one for stones... Um, one for iron and yeah etc one for wood all that kind of stuff but obviously at the moment we're quite limited with the supplies and just for realism I'm going to leave this uh, centerpiece because it's kind of structural isn't it so we'll get right so that's the axe broken so that's okay we'll um, scrap that it's pointless repairing it because it's level 1 okay back on here stone axe make another one and because we've just destroyed one that will go straight into our um, first inventory slot okay nice so because of these bits I can't put the uh, box exactly where I want so what I'll do I'll stick it to this wall so you can um, rotate. Oh no, it's not going to let me put it there either. You can rotate with um, a left click of the mouse button. And yeah, I really wanted it there, but that's right. So we'll just have it there for now. And even though no one's going to be on this map, I'll just unlock it. So this one here will be everything that I'm going to sell to the trader. So that for sure. Um those the ammo for the shotgun I'll put in here yeah that'll do for now and then uh, yeah I need to fix the roof board these windows up a little bit and put a fire down so where should I put the fire because then we'll be able to boil water and we've got a water source fairly nearby as well. Uh, I'm just going to put it there. So you can't start a fire um, yeah, that rages out of control. So we do need some bits for this. So we need a cooking pot and also a grill for sure. Um, but obviously at the moment we don't have that. So as you can see, we can't make anything at the moment. But that's actually because we haven't got any um, wood source in. So if I put all of this in, that gives us 71 minutes of burn time. We don't need that. So if I hold... Okay, so if I um, pick it all up and right click, I can uh, do that. The zombies are attracted to heat, so I've got to be a little bit careful. And I can make raw meat now. So I'll make five of them, which will take one minute fifteen. And I've also got all of this murky water on me. So let's turn that straight into um, boiled water. So I can leave that going. I don't need to watch it. And it won't burn either. That's something that I like about this game. So um, 
I could leave that forever and it won't burn. It will obviously go through all of the um, the wood, but that's all right. Right, so this is just in my way, so I'll get rid of that. You can use hay bales um, for building. So if you jump onto a hay bale from really high, you won't hurt yourself. So that's worth bearing in mind. Right, let's see if we can get this window boarded up a little bit. So if I go onto this one, I like them boards. Hold R and put copy shape. Um, that now is what this is. So I can go over here. Um, left click. Board that up. Same here. Oh. So right click when you've chosen the orientation. And then, yeah, I can reinforce them. So I really like that um, copy shape mode. And then, um, yeah, let's just do them up. So this is obviously only going to be a temporary place for us to um, stay. But I like it. It's got a lot of potential. So let's get rid of this barrel as well. So I'll crouch so that I'm not um, giving away our location. And then let's take these. I'll get that from outside, actually. Right. So back onto there and um, we'll make a little um, kind of cheap ladder. So onto shape, square or cube, sorry. And then let's um, out of crouch mode, jump our way up. Right. So we've got this to fix. So it's not going to be exactly the same when I fix it. Um, but it will mean that we've got cover and shelter which obviously in this kind of situation is um, appealing. So it's going to be replaced with wood just because we haven't got the uh, resources that we need yet. So let's do the same again. So onto the shape, uh, copy shape. You can also copy rotation as well. So let's do that too. Right. Perfect. And this one, um, I'll have to do again. So we'll go on to there. Copy shape. Perfect. 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 Reinforce it so it's not too weak. Okay, that'll do for now. Um, we're not going to be attacked from above for a little while. Um, so yeah, that's all right. So, yeah, just scanning round. So we do need to do some work on that fence up there, if you can see. Uh, so up there, the fence is broken. So that's a way in. Again, that's a way in. That's a way in. That's a way in. So we do have quite a lot of work to do. And there again, we do have quite a lot of work to do, but that's all right. Nice. Right, so obviously we need to focus on um Yeah, this bit first because there's that gate there. So let's have a wander over. Looking for snakes as well. So snakes like to be in this kind of area. Okay, so I'm gonna repair one. Um but it is the end of the episode already, so we'll take away the old destroyed bit. Can hear something okay and obviously there's no barbed wire up here either so we will need to um yeah make some barbed wire right oh i pressed the wrong thing but you can just pick it up so let's um stop pressing the wrong button <sighs> i'll get it oh for goodness <laughs> johnny what are you doing oh i don't know what i've done okay turn that off Right, sorry about this everyone. Like I said, I'm not going to ever pretend to be good at a game. Right, so copy shape. Um, it's the wrong way round. So we'll copy the rotation as well. That'll flip it out over there. Right, done, 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 done. No barbed wire. 
but let's just build it up so that it can uh, take a little bit of damage. Right, no more wood, but that's a simple fix because there's a little bit. Oh, anyway, you get the um, you get the idea. So I'm gonna have to end it here. So thanks for watching, everyone. I really do appreciate each and every view. And if you've liked this, please feel free to join me in the next one. Cheers, everyone, and bye for now.